Hello, Jeffrey Langloy, Langloy's Vital Nutrition Center here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Our mission is to help you improve your health naturally. As you know, I like to get smarter all the time. And one of the ways I do that is reading books and listening to uh, going to conferences and seminars. Anyway, we're going to continue our talk here about the brain. One of my favorite books is called The Grain Brain. Okay, Dr. Perlmutter. Now, Dr. Perlmutter is actually a neurologist. So he has found that surprisingly, we've always said that the body cannot grow new brain cells. That is now proven false. And so the surprising truth about wheat, carbs, and sugar, your brain's silent killers, okay? It doesn't matter if it's an apple, an organic banana, these things, elevated sugar levels, and the reason wheat is so bad, as we've talked about, is it releases so much sugar into the bloodstream so quickly. That's why if you don't like to eat a lot of meat, you've got to move into the legumes as long as you can digest those. But I wanted to talk about the important concept of neurogenesis, nerve creation. So nerve cell creation, genesis, the birth, how to change your genetic destiny. This is amazing research because it actually is what it shows here um, is that you can fortify your existing brain circuits and create entirely new and elaborate connections, okay? This is very important. So you got to realize that there's strategies you can do to build and repair your brain, okay? Now, we talked a lot about the gut in the earlier videos, and why I talked about the gut is you need to get off the bad carbohydrates, especially the wheat and the gluten-free products. And, um, and if you want to eat fruit, that's fine at, on a gradient scale, but realize it's not normal to be eating fruit in Wisconsin right now. You would never be eating fruit right now. The only reason you're eating fruit is because there's grocery stores. If you lived here a hundred years ago, I guarantee you, you were not eating fruit unless you canned some apples from your apple tree. Otherwise, you were not eating fruit. You were eating protein and fat and whatever you could can vegetable-wise from your garden. So um, things to help your body create new brain cells, exercise, Caloric restriction. A lot of you have heard me talk about the value of fasting. It's very important to learn how to fast. Now, you don't want to eat a really low calorie diet. We're not talking about chronic under eating. That's not good either. Say 600 or 800 calories a day ongoing will lower your metabolism. But doing a fasting cycle and then a then eat and then doing, a, say, a, a one-day, a two-day, a three-day fast. Um, you know, you could do a one-day fast every couple of weeks. You could do a three-day fast every quarter. Uh, that's very important. The body is in its own intelligence. When you fast, is going to clean up the mess. It's actually going to speed up your metabolism. Short-term fasting like that will speed up your metabolism because your body is going to say, there's no food coming in, so I don't have to continue to focus on eating food and processing the food, but I can actually start to clean house and repair in the body. It, just like nature in the wild is uh, the predators and the prey, which are the prey that get killed? The weaker ones. Take care of your health. So uh, caloric restriction, fasting. Then he says, the benefits of a ketogenic diet help the brain to repair and heal itself. Then he goes into the value of curcumin and DHA. DHA is a oil found, uh, is a type of fat found in animal fat, not found in plant fat. So another plug for plant animal fats is um, DHA, um, intellectual stimulation. So always trying to learn new things. This also helps to build the brain, um, the antioxidant, the Alzheimer's. Okay, next chapter. How gluten robs you and your children's peace of mind. Okay, if you're going to eat gluten, it must be sourdough. 
Okay. Otherwise, you need to get off of it completely and you need to get off of the gluten-free uh, thing that's going on there where people are doing all this gluten-free stuff that's very damaging. It's not healthy at all. All right. Thank you for your time. This is a great book and I highly recommend it. And um, it goes into the gut and the brain health. So, all right, take care of your health. Your health is your wealth. When you have your health, you have your wealth. And all of your life will go better. You'll be happy. You'll feel better. You'll be able to um, spend better time with those who you love. So God bless you. And uh, I will see you on the next video. If you like this video, hit the like and make sure you hit the subscribe button.